All right, um, we are moving into the second part of atmosphere. Uh, you can see right here on the list where we're heading. Uh, we're going to talk about the seasons. We're going to talk about high and low pressure systems, uh, cloud formation, how winds form, fronts, thunderstorms, and we're going to predict weather and tornadoes. And in the end, you're going to end up having to write a um, script for a weather broadcast. So the first part is going to be uh, atmosphere lesson six dealing with the seasons on the earth. Now when you ask yourself this question uh, what makes our seasons on the earth, spend a little time, pause it, think about what you know and what you uh, you probably have a pretty good idea what it is but uh, really think about it before you move on to the next slide. Well if you look at these two pictures here um, Try to figure out what the difference is. Uh, when you look here, you got New York at 67 degrees and New York at 64 degrees. Sydney, Australia is at 55 degrees or 53 degrees, and Sydney, Australia is at 70 degrees. So, if you look at the differences, this is in June, and this is in December. So, in December, it's 70 degrees in Australia. So, at Christmas time, they're having sun and summer, and uh, we have some and su uh, sun and summer during uh, June. Uh, watching this 3D animation uh, coming up uh, will show us a little bit more about um, so when you look here um, here's the earth in summer we can see it's June um, for us in our northern hemisphere. Uh, if I click on fall, you can see that the earth has moved, but now notice in fall, the north and the south uh, hemisphere, southern hemisphere, gets the same amount of sunlight. Um, and then in winter, if you look at the new picture over here, um, the southern hemisphere gets most of the sunlight, the northern hemisphere gets some. That's why it's so cold. The earth is tilted away from the sun. In spring, we end up almost similar to in the fall. Um, both sides are getting uh, equal amounts. And then back at summer, you are looking at the earth is tilting, our northern hemisphere is tilting towards the sun. So our hemisphere gets most of the sunlight. That's why we end up heating up more. So, it has to deal with the tilt. Uh, it has to deal with uh, how much of our uh, ab, uh, hemisphere is getting the direct sunlight, the direct radiation from the sun. In this picture right here, you can see it is summer because we're getting the majority of it here in the northern hemisphere. Now, notice the equator, they tend to get it all year long because they either, you know, they're right down the middle. Um, now, when you start talking about the Earth and um, how it moves, we actually it moves in two different ways. Um, one, it moves, uh, it spins on its axis, it rotates. Uh, that's the key word, rotation, is when it's spinning on its axis. You know, I use big, big boy and girl words and little boy and girl words. Um, our big boy and girl word is rotation. Our little boy and girl word words are spins. So the Earth spins to the east. Uh, it takes about 24 hours to spin around. That's why we get a day being 24 hours long. Um, day and night is caused by this rotation. Uh, now while it's rotating, while it's spinning, while it's rotating and getting us our days and nights, um, it revolves around the sun. It moves around. And um, that gives us our or 365 days for a year. It takes a 300, about 365 days to make one trip all the way around the sun. Um, now, during that time, since our Earth is tilted at a 23 and a half degree angle, um, that tilt causes our seasons. Uh, it's not that we get closer or farther from the sun. Uh, it's just a matter of how our Earth is tilted towards the sun or tilted away from the sun. So if you were to put things down in your notes, these would be the high points of that thing, high points. Um, 
the Earth's rotation causes day and night. The Earth's revolution causes um, the seasons. Um, I, I should have put in there also the tilt helps cause the seasons. Uh, you can see right here with the sun being here in the summer, we're getting most of the rays up here. Uh, equator gets quite a bit too, so they stay warm. Down here, they don't get as much, so it's colder in the summer in the southern hemisphere, but warmer in the summer in the northern hemisphere. But if you look at the exact opposite season, the southern hemisphere gets most of the light, and the northern hemisphere gets very uh, gets less. That's why it's colder here in the winter time. Um, now, if you watch this video, and if we click on spring, this is what it looks like: Fairbanks, Alaska. 12 hours a day. Uh, if we, if I rotate the earth, you can kind of see um, everybody gets 12 hours, about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours a night at in spring, in March on the 21st. If I go to fall, uh, it does the same thing, except we're just tilted differently same places, same um, amount of sunlight. Now if we go to summer, notice Fairbanks, Alaska, 22 hours of daylight. Uh, that's that's uh, almost every hour of the day. You can golf at 10 o'clock at night. Um, there's actually a golf outing uh, that tees off at 10 o'clock at night. Um, and I'm contemplating and going up there with some buddies sometime because it would be just unreal to be playing golf at 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Um, New York, it's 15 hours. That's about the same for us. But in the winter time, if we go the other direction, winter time, Fairbanks only gets four hours of light. Uh, New York, only nine hours. That's similar to us. But Sydney, Australia gets 14. So as you can see, just the tilt gives us different amounts of time for sunlight. And the more sunlight that we get, the more direct rays we get, the more our temperatures go up. So uh, on your assignment, on the, the sheet that you're going to get, uh, you are going to need to draw this picture right here uh, for winter. Uh, make sure you draw the, the globe, the angle, the, where the equator is, the tilt, where the sun rays come in for winter. Um, then you are going to have to draw this, where spring is. Uh, and follow this order here. Winter would be on the right hand side of your sheet. If you look at your sheet right here, uh, winter would be right here. Uh, winter would be right here. Spring, summer, and fall. Uh, and you would have to draw this earth with the equator with these lines showing direct sunlight. Uh, and then summer would look like this, so it would be tilted towards the sun. Uh, if you need to, and you probably should, the sun should go right here in the middle um, so that uh, we can see that. And then fall would look like this. Uh, you could put in the, the number of hours of daylight if you want. It's not an, you know, you don't need to, but you could. So I think that's it. Main thing we want to get out of this, uh, what causes seasons? Uh, day and night are caused by the earth rotating. Or spinning. Uh, the year is uh, caused by the Earth revolving around the, uh, the Sun and the seasons are caused by the Earth's tilt as it's making that trip around the Sun in about 365 days. So that's what you need to get out of it. Good luck.